What's going on guys, it's Tyro here, and today we're talking about what if Naruto was in Demon Slayer. Um, I hope you guys enjoy, but before we get into that, I gotta explain a few things right here. Um, number one, Naruto's gonna be half demon because of his mom, which would be known as the Demon Fox, which means you will have a blood demon art called Dying Tails. Which is basically just a booster of strength, durability, enhanced like just enhance all of his stats. Um, we also have to talk about Naruto's breathing style. He's gonna have a unique one called Storm Breathing. Uh, Storm Breathing's gonna have five forms, which I'll explain right now. Uh, form one, which is just a uh, piercing wind. But basically, it's a forward, forward horizontal slash. That's all of it. But uh. Second form is Eye Storm, which basically is when Naruto closes his eyes or is blind and uses the slight change in the wind to find out where his opponent is and then eventually will strike that spot. Uh, third form is Flying Fujin. Um, basically, Flying Fujin is just like the horizontal water wheel, but you know, it's more longer, more powerful. And the uh, fourth form is Raiden's Wrath, which basically is a Naruto jumping, which leads to a powerful vertical strike. And the uh, fifth form is Sky Dragon Dance, which consistently is uh, consistent rotating slashes. It could be anything as long as he is rotating to gain momentum. Uh, basically, that is it for his forms. And now we will get into the story. I hope you guys enjoy. We open up with a 13 year old naruto this naruto had dirty blonde hair but hints of red would be scattered across he had a bright orange jacket with a black shirt underneath he also had black orange pants with blue shoes but the toes were revealing he was practicing some form of thunder style as he would repeatedly yell thunder clap and flash and would also have to recite all of his wind style techniques as well. He would be called into the house as we are revealed that there are four people in there. A man who looked closely like Naruto with bright yellow hair. Come on my son, sit next to me. He would pat beside him in between another woman. She had blood red hair, it was long and it flew like a river. Come here, Naruto. It's time for dinner. Across from them, there was a man with flaming hair, orange and red hair, with a cloak on. This said Hashira on the back, and a man with dark black hair with dark blue eyes. As they, as the adults begin to talk, Naruto would eat his food and listen. Congratulations on becoming the Thunder Hashira, Minato. I envy your progress. The man with the flaming hair spoke. Minato would then reply, It's okay, Kojiro. I thank you, but to be honest, being a Hashira is a deadly occupation. I hope one day I can retire and just spend my days with Kushina. But until then, I'll do my best. As Kojo and Goku would smile and take a bite, a yelling tasty. And as Kushina would smile, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the food I cooked. As Naruto would then repeat this, tasty. <laughs> Everybody would give it a little chuckle. As the man with the dark hair, uh, I'm pretty sure the previous Thunder Pillar would be so proud. Hopefully he's having better days. As Minato would then make have a slight frown. The last I left him, he was training two students. One was very arrogant. It seemed like he couldn't wait for anything. And the other one was timid, scared almost all the time, and didn't even like training. To be honest, he has a lot of stuff in his hands. But I trust him that he can train the future generation. He would then look at the man with the dark hair. How is Orokodaki these days, Gyu? Gyu would then respond. He's 
doing fine. I direct a new student towards his way. His name is Tanjiro Kamado. Sadly, his family passed away to a demon, and his sister happens to be a demon as well. But he promises that he'll carry her wherever he goes. From the letters I'm getting from my sensei, Yogidaki, it seems like the demon girl is in a deep sleep, and Tanjiro is training hard to learn the water style. Right now, he just learned the fifth style. Fifth form. Minato would smile. Yes. Although Naruto hasn't mastered any of the forms yet, I am confident that he will. I am also confident that he's able to make his own forms, styles, breathing styles. We haven't really seen what his sword looks like, so we don't have a good idea of how to train him. As Giyu would then smile, I assume this boy's Tanjiro's sword should be red. His family seemed to work close to fire anyway. As Minuto would then give a slight chuckle. You said Kamado, right? Wasn't there another Tanjiro Kamado that we knew? Well, at least my father knew of. As Giyu would then sigh. Uh, I don't know. I don't really look back towards these things anyway. We should be celebrating you being Hashira instead of talking about other people. As Minuto would give a slight chuckle. Eh, I don't like the attention on me anyway. As Naruto would then ask if Giyu and Rengoku can teach him the water and flame breathing. As Naruto would then probably break in, he's going to be the next Hashira, but not with a specific type. He's going to be the Hashira of every single style. As Kojo and Goku would then smile. Don't get ahead of yourself. Your body can only handle a certain amount of styles. You are training with the thunder and wind style, aren't you, Minato? Is Minato with a slightly smile? Yeah, I oh am. Yeah. Well, we are. But to be honest, he can't use it at the same time. His body can't handle it. As Naruto would then state, I'll make my own breathing style then and become the greatest Hashira. As everybody would chuckle. As Kushino would then finally speak. Sit down, boy. You're not going to be able to be a harsh rough if you don't eat. As Kojo and Goku would then ask Krishna, How are you these days? I understand being a demon is hard, especially since a lot of you can't really go outside. She states, He almost got killed today by a demon slayer. It was on accident. They didn't know that I was married to the Thunder Hashira. Minato saved my life again. I'm getting tired of it. I can't fight back. I don't want to kill anyone. As Giyu would then state, To be honest, the only reason why I didn't kill the boy's sister is because she reminded me of you. Besides, she wasn't a mindless demon. She clearly had an intention to protect the boy that she was just trying to kill. To be honest, if I didn't know you, I probably would have killed her. So, I guess that... Tanjiro boy has you to thank for the sisters still breathing to this day. As she would then state, Well, let's go to Rokidaki sometime. Maybe I'll get to meet this boy. He seems nice. As Naruto would then state, Yeah, Tanjiro Kamado, was it? When I meet him, I want to fight him. As Minato would then grab Naruto by the head. Alright, I think it's time for you to go to bed. Snarto would then state. But the sun hasn't even set down yet. It's not even dawn. As you look out the window. And it appears to be at a twilight state. Oh. Uh, whatever. As he would storm off into his room. But not in a pouty way. More of a, yeah, I know you're right way. Minato would chuckle. That boy has a flaming spirit. To be honest, I think he'd be way better at flame style or water style, if anything. As Kojo would then smile. Hey, he's your son. You can train him however you want. It doesn't really matter how the student feels at the beginning. As long as you know he can do it. You just have to set your heart ablaze and teach him in the way that you know how. As Minato would then chuckle. Set your heart ablaze. What are the best stating? The best 
statement I've ever heard. Gyu with the lookout. Yes, it's getting towards twilight now. I should be heading home. It is far away from here, so I should be going now. I'll probably get there by midnight. Which means I'll encounter some demons. As Koji and Goku would then state, then you're gonna need extra protection. That's Gyu with then look at Kojiro in a more of a dismeanor way. I'm a Hashira, I think I'm gonna take care of myself, but thank you. As he would walk out and begin to run, Kojiro and Goku would then get up and get out as well. I should be taking my leave too. My younger brother, he probably needs my help with cooking. I'll see you later, Minato. And remember, stay safe. As Kojiro and Goku would blast through the forest. Hours later, Naruto, Kishina, and Minato are all asleep. But then Minato suddenly wakes up, same with Krishna. Krishna could feel a slight change in the air, like there's a fourth person in the house. Minato with his lightning fast reflexes got his sword and walked into the living room. He saw a man with a coat and a hat. You're... You're Muzan, aren't you? As the man wouldn't speak, simply would just attack. Kojiro would then state, Thunder breathing, secret form, the flying Raijin. As he would appear behind Muzan and have a strike at his back, he would screech. As then he would yell at Kushina, Get Naruto and leave now! As she would grab Naruto, he would wake up not knowing what's happening. She would state, There's a demon in the house. Your father's taking care of it, but we have to go. As Naruto would then state, Wait, if there's a demon, then I can help. As she senses, No, 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 you cannot help. He's too powerful. I don't think your father can make it. She runs, dashing straight for Rokudaki's, who happened to be two mountains away. But she used her blood demon art, Nine Tails, to give her a boost. Muzan and Minato's fight lasted for a good 30 minutes. Until, eventually, Minato was impaled by Muzan's fist. But he made sure to give a signal that he was about to die. He had on his sword and used his lightning breathing to throw the sword away. But thanks to the lightning breathing technique, he was able to pinpoint the location of where Kushina is, then therefore Kushina would realize. As she's running, a sword will blow past her. She recognizes it as Minato's sword. She then realizes the sad truth. She only does that as she's in trouble. And she would then grab the sword and continue to run. She would get around to where Rokudaki is to the point where Tanjiro can spot her. His first idea is to try and attack her, but he realizes she's carrying a boy and she's running directly for Rokudaki. She runs up. He runs up to Kushina asking her what her business is, as she states, I need a Rokudaki. Look, my son, Naruto. Naruto Uzumaki Namakaze. Just grab him. Take him, please. As Tanjiro would grab Naruto. She's around my age. As she would then state, make sure Naruto gives takes this sword. It's his father's. Tell him that he is the son of Minato Nam Namakaze, the Thunder Pillar. As he would then realize, wait, that means you're Kushina. You're the Red Hot Habanero, aren't you? As she then states, yes. Right now, his father is in trouble. I need to get back. Then Tanjiro would ask, wait, wait, wait. But you're a demon. Which makes Naruto, she would then sigh, listen. Naruto's half demon. Luckily, he takes more of his father's side. He can be in the sun and he doesn't eat humans. He only inherited my blood demon arc and my regener <laughs> regeneration. Listen, I need you to take him to a Rokudaki where he's safe. I had to go back and lead that demon that killed my husband away from this place. As she would run off. She would go back to Tanjiro, but one last time. Make sure to tell Naruto I love him. 
and that I didn't mean to do this, that I didn't abandon him. Tanjiro would nod his head and run down the mountain, run as fast as he ever could as he screams, Arokudaki, I need your help. Someone, someone dropped a kid off here. Rokudaki already had Aiden's hearing, so he pretty much heard the conversation creation I had with Tanjiro. He would get at the base of the mountain, the Tanjiro out of breath. My old friend's son, come on, let's take you to a place where you're safe, comfortable. She would set, he would set Naruto in a bed, covering him with a blanket. He would light a nearby fire, so Naruto would stay warm. Around this part, it should be getting cold. He's five mountain, two mountains away. It was the next day. It was around high noon and Naruto just woke up. The second he woke up, he realized there was a girl next to him. She had a bamboo as a muzzle. She like she was sleeping peacefully. He would get a slight blush as he really didn't recall what happened last night. When Rokodaki would open the door. You're awake, I see. Listen, we have something to tell you. As Tanjo would follow after. I am Rokodaki, the former water pillar. And this is Tanjo Okamoto, right now my student. As Naruto would then remember. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Giyu Tumaka, Uncle Giyu, talked about you. Uncle Giyu, Tanjiro would reply. Yeah, Giyu and Rengoku, well, Kojo and Goku, my dad's friends. I also knew about you, Urokudaki. She would talk about you sometimes too. As Urokudaki would give Naruto a note. This was posted to all the Hashiras and even former Hashiras, or people that were just genuinely close to him. Minato and Kushina, your father and mother. Snarto would read Thunder Hashira found dead by Entomen, and his wife found dead by decapitation. All of her limbs were severed off. Snarto would begin to cry. She would remember. That his dad was fighting a demon, but he didn't know what he sound what he He didn't know what he looked like. All he can do at that point was use one of his mother's techniques of the wind style and know how tall he was and his main build. But he couldn't really get a sense of like anything else but that. Tanjiro would then state, listen, I understand your pain. My family was murdered too. Snarato then wiped the tears off his face. I'll kill them all. Every single evil demon. Every single one that dare do something like this to someone like me. Everybody, everyone's families have been suffered by these demons. And yet, they're still roaming. This pisses me off. I will become a Hashira. After that, I will protect everybody. And no one would have to become a demon slayer after when I become a Hashira. As Tanjiro would then take note in his mind. I probably shouldn't tell him that Nezuko was a demon. As Naruto would then point out the muzzle on the girl. Who is she? As Tanjiro would then sigh. She's my sister. Oh yeah. You told me your sister's a demon, right? But like she's a good demon. Stanjo would take note. So he pretty much knows at least a somewhat about me. Good to know. As Naruto would get up. Oh, sorry. Naruto would get up. Hey, Hiroki Daki, could you please teach me in the ways of water style? Hiroki Daki would then point out. Don't you already have thunder and wind? Snaruto states, yeah, but three heads are better than two. This Rokudaki would then reply, your body can only handle so many breathing styles. 
having all of them pretty much cripples a person, let alone having three, and even having two. Naruto is in state. Well, I am an Uzumaki after all. Us Uzumakis are known to have multiple breathing styles. Plus, I'm also a Namikaze, so you know I can handle it. So, Roku Daki with Sai. Well, fine, I'll teach you the ways of water. But I can only teach you a couple of techniques. If you knew every single form, you probably could kill yourself. I don't want that happening, do I? If not, though, she could say no. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm very tired. As Naruto would shake his head no. We're gonna skip one year and a half. Naruto's been training with Tanjiro and he's actually learned a bit. But he can't learn all of them, so Uro Kidaki would restrict himself. And make Naruto like reteach himself thunder and wind. So he doesn't really forget them. Naruto also learned about his father gifting him a sword, but Naruto rejected it until he becomes a true demon slayer. Then he will touch it. After that, Naruto and Taiyo, sorry, are tasked with cutting a boulder clean in half. Naruto and Tanjiro would struggle until eventually Tanjiro did cut it in half. But Tanjiro did not want to take the exam without Naruto, as he didn't want him to feel left out. So he kind of takes the exam a little bit later, but not too much. As around the same time, Naruto accidentally develops a new breathing style, Storm Breathing. And he was trying to replicate Water Wheel when he did it. So when he did it, it was clean in half vertically. But he thought just imitating Water Wheel wasn't enough. He wanted to be better. Instead of it being vertical, he wanted to be horizontal. So basically, on the way to the exam, which let's say it would take a week for them to walk there, each time they stopped, Naruto kept on trying to develop the styles that he would incorporate in his new breathing technique, storm breathing. He created five different ones, although they're all incomplete and imperfect, which means that they are practically useless unless he's fighting some weak demons. So until he perfects them, he vows not to use them unless, you know, he knows they're a weak demon or he has really no other choice. Eventually, he can't even use any of the style but storm breathing as an incorporated thunder, wind, and water. So basically by using thunder, wind, and water all the time, he would just be sticking to storm style. Eventually, they arrive at the destination, and Tanjiro takes a note at the wisteria trees blossoming at this time of the year. Naruto states, some places in Japan are just like that. My dad would take me to a place like this a lot of times, mainly to protect us from getting invaded by demons. We even used to live in the wisteria forest until some guys took it down. It was for the best though, as his nearby village was actually not hunted by demons for plenty of years. As Tanjiro, one, I actually enjoy talking with Naruto as he actually knew a lot. Unlike Naruto, we know where he's kind of dumb. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, when Tanjiro goes to the final selection, he takes note of a few people. He takes note of the girl that seemed quiet. He noted her beauty, but Naruto would kind of joke on me, you know, pick on Tanjiro, call him saying he has a crush. But Naruto would notice Zenitsu. As he pretty much state, this guy is trying to take my look. Naruto, like Tanjiro, would have a cloak, a cloak-like thing, where it's just a bright orange, um, because Naruto actually the color orange. So it was more of a black, bright orange cloak around him, you know, kind of like how Tanjiro had it. But his was like, you know, bright blue. <sighs> I'm sorry guys, again, I am extremely tired of doing this late at night, it's like 12 right now, I'm s extremely sorry, but uh, you know, I gotta get this out like tomorrow, sorry, <laughs> um, what was I, oh yeah, it was, so, the two girls would walk down, and they'll give the, pretty much the normal thing they did in the anime, explaining the final selection and all. Now they need to uh, perform it within seven days, survive for seven days. If they don't, they die, obviously. So, and they'll be there within seven days. So, veil departure. Naruto and Tanjiro vowed that they shouldn't help each other unless they absolutely need to, 
so they tried staying away from each other. Now, around the time Tanjiro runs into the hand demons, Naruto accidentally does run into the hand demon as well. But he sees Tanjiro kill it at that time where he enters, so he thinks Naruto has this the final selection in the bag. And he actually fights with a few demons, improving his um, storm style to the point where he's actually developed the five styles almost towards perfection. And, you know, like, like pretty much is, as expected, Tanjiro and Naruto pass the final selection. But Naruto does not want to actually select an aura, but he kind of has to. So he does select an aura more as a backup blade, if anything, as he doesn't really want to use it. So, you know, they both go back. Rokudaki hugs them, hugs them, noting that they are alive. Because Naruto doesn't actually realize that, you know, what Tanjiro knows is all of his students were fucking dead. For which all of his students. So, you know, Naruto doesn't actually understand why it's really important. But he does know that Nezuko does come out, and he actually gets to see how cute she is. But, you know, he doesn't actually want to say it. Because we know how Naruto is. Naruto and Tanjiro would, um, you know, get their blades as the guy sees Naruto's hair. So, what's your name, boy? Your name? It's weird. Naruto Uzumaki Namakaze. Isn't that the two family names of the two most famous slayers right now? A f former Flame Hashira and his wife? That's Naruto with a nod. Yes, I was actually gifted his sword. I didn't really want to pick an aura. Oh, his sword was yellow with a bunch of thunder symbols on it. I wonder what yours would look like, actually. Some swords don't actually come out like your father's, with electricity shown. Some of them are just afros colors. As Naruto would think, alright, alright, what is a, I hope his, what he thinks what his color will be. As the guy's expecting his blade either be blood red or bright, bright yellow. But to everybody's expectations, when Naruto touches the sword, instead of being red or yellow, it actually comes out as orange. A bright orange. Izurokutaki is actually impressed. Orange? I didn't expect it from you. As Naruto is worried. What does orange mean? Izurokutaki. Well, I want to mean an orange. It can mean childhood wonder. Or it can even mean mature. Minute. Orange has a lot of meaning, but let's just say you have a better chance of being a harsher than normal people. Your spirit is very kind, but yet yeah, it's also very ferocious, filled with anger. As Naruto, well then we'll get a sword, and even want to touch his father's sword to see the change it would happen. But out of respect, he didn't. He would then use the sword that was given to him. A bright orange sword. Well, I suppose. I guess that's just who I am. Naruto is a maki, namakaze. Rokidaki would smile. Well, your mission, your first mission should start soon. Tanjiro, why don't we see the color of your sword? It's like in the anime, Tanjiro still gets black. As Naruto actually is impressed. Black? Wow, that's impressive. There's a Rokudaki with in state black. It's mainly the color that is less known. This is the less popular color actually. But basically, people with black as the color of the sword don't really know what style they want. There's Tanjiro worries. Do you think I don't believe in your teachings? As a Rokudaki chuckles. No, no, no. It's very rare, so we don't really know the full moon of a black colored sword. But they're not really commonly Hashira. Let's turn to roadside. Uh, I was really looking forward to that. Snarto states, just because of a stupid coloring sword doesn't mean you can't be a Hashira. Anyway, our first mission, when are we gonna get it? As Irokodaki was gonna say something, a crow would then yell, Your first mission is in a nearby village. A nearby village. Go. 
Go to east. Go east. There's Naruto and Tanjiro. We can look at the crowd. There's Naruto with ask. Wait. You can speak? That's Tanjiro with them sign. But we all were assigned crows. Didn't you not know that? That's Naruto states. To be honest, I was kind of spacing out. The trees were just so beautiful. There's Tanjiro. We didn't put Nezuko in the box. And then would carry her. Well, they walked down the street. So, we're going to a nearby village. I wonder what demons we're gonna slay. Let's turn to explain. Then think. Hmm. The demons. Demons. Wait, I think Rukudaki forgot to tell us something. Tell you something, I mean. This Naruto would sigh. Oh, what is it now? That I keep eating too much? Let's turn to the state. No, no, no. He said, uh, to me at least, maybe you were asleep or something. But we all, but all, what I know is that there are certain demons with very rare powers. They're called blood demon art. And to pretty much to sum it up, they're extremely powerful. So if you really can't handle it, it's fine if I, it's Naruto to cut him off. I am Naruto Zumaki Namakaze. I am son of, I am son of a pillar, goddammit. I'm not gonna be losing to some low tier flu demon. Besides, I think we're both at no, but I want to kill the demon that killed my mom and father. Until then, I refuse to die. Even if I get impaled, I'll just keep on going simply. Set my heart ablaze. As Uncle and Goku would always state. As Tanjiro would inside. Listen, all I'm trying to tell you is just be careful, please. This Naruto would then nudge Tanjiro. It's fine. I'm strong enough to handle myself. Now, let's hurry up. We don't want to... The longer we sit here and walk, the longer people... God damn it. I read that wrong. The longer we're here, the more chance that demon has to kill people. Sorry. As Tanjiro and Naruto begin to run. And that's where we're going to be ending off part one. Holy golly. I, re I literally wrote too much. I just, uh, I could cut it off. But like, it was, this was a good point. And I'm extremely tired. And I really want to go to sleep. So, please enjoy. Uh, I'm planning on doing more of this. What if Naruto is in another series? And then Naruto is in power. Uh, I actually might remake this one. I wasn't really happy. But I need to get a video out this week, so it's either, uh, you know, I either don't release it and make you wait two weeks, or release it and be a lot easier for me and you. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I think this guy was on too long. This is like this is reaching like past thirty minutes. I'm pretty sure. So, um, yeah, this is gonna be a long ass video and a long ass upload. Uh, but like I said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you really want to. I don't care. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. Goodbye.